name is Sheila Ren. Is ridiculously, and when I say ridiculously, I mean ridiculously disgusting outside, but I am determined to stick to my little plan for the day, which is to check out two bookstores and go back to this really cute coffee shop that I know has like really large windows so that I can read while it's raining and just like walk around a bookstore while it's raining and maybe find some new books. Both of the bookstores are black owned, so I'm really excited for that. Then the coffee shop I've been to before, I did not know it was black owned when I went to it, but it's this really cute coffee shop. And then there's like this little hidden door and behind the coffee shop is like this whole like really cute low lighting bar with like music and it's just so dope so I'm gonna go there and just have a good Friday let's go my new bag and just like an oversized jacket so they're just giving like sporty vibes <laughs> I am so very proud of the day that I have had so far today. I made it to two black owned bookstores and now I'm gonna head to the black owned coffee shop. Although it's not raining anymore, so that's kind of killing like the whole rain pouring down while I like read and drink a coffee and eat snack vibe I was going for, but I'm still going to go because I don't want to go home yet. But like 
the last bookstore I went to was so amazing and I just loved it so much and I can't believe I'm just now finding out about it I feel like my glasses they are my glasses keep fogging up but I can't believe I'm just now finding out about it and yeah we're gonna go to the coffee shop now Apparently the cafe is closed, so I'm leaving, but I will show you the cute little pastry. At Fort Keeps, which is the second bookstore that I went to, and it was my first time going to it, I actually got two books and one magazine. The first book that I got is Sula by Toni Morrison, and I have been wanting to read this book for a while. I actually seen it at the library, and I was going to just check it out from there, but it was only $8 at Fort Keeps, and I really liked this like vintage cover, so I ended up getting it. Sula is about two childhood best friends who end up like growing up part I don't know the reason the synopsis doesn't really say but they pretty much go in two different directions one of them like marriage and family life and the other one college and city life and they kind of have a falling out but they end up making up and it just sounds pretty interesting so I've wanted to read it and it's by like the Toni Morrison and I hate to admit it but I have not read any of her works yet so I really wanted to change that this year and we're going to do that. The second thing that I got is a magazine, a Jet magazine with Usher on the cover and I'm a huge Usher fan. I plan to go to his Vegas residency this year and I knew before I even went into Four Keeps that I was going to buy a Jet magazine because I had seen all they have like old magazines and yeah this is like a cover from June 2nd 2008 so that's pretty crazy and I wanted to get some other ones but they actually said that they weren't for sale and then the last book that I got is Leroy Satchel Page Maybe I'll Pitch Forever as told to David Lipman and I literally know nothing about Leroy Satchel Page and I really gravitated toward this book and I was like I want to learn more about him this will be a cool book to read for like a good history lesson a lot of the books in the shop are like pretty much like just black excellence, black power, black history books and I really really love that about the shop. You can always use a good history lesson. There's always something that you can learn so I'll definitely probably be back. So this next book I got from the bookstore 44th and 3rd bookseller and that is the first bookstore that I went to but it's called All Her Little Secrets. It is about a black lawyer who kind of has like a relationship with her boss and the synopsis says all of this. She goes into their hotel room one day and finds him dead but she pretty much just like walks away from the scene wants nothing to do with it because of some things in her past and not wanting to be like put in the spotlight for this but because he is dead she's then promoted to his job and in that new position she finds out that there's like some shady things going on in the company and that his death was also kind of shady so it sounds really really good I'm excited to read it we are going to open up my bookmark that I ordered off of Etsy here is my secret copy and she makes like these really cute bookmarks. Okay, I think I got everything out. Yes. Okay, it says, who is awesome? You're awesome. Thank you so much for purchasing from my shop. I hope you have a great day and an amazing sweet year. To Shayla. I love small businesses. Like, this is so cute. This could be a little bookmark too. Okay, and then this is what we were waiting for. Oh, what is his name? Is it Arthur or Author? <laughs> I don't remember. But it's a little magnetic bookmark. And then it just like closes. Oh, it's so cute. And then it says my secret copy on the back i literally love this okay let's go get my book so i can put it in my book <laughs> here's my book i'm currently reading stay with me by ayobami adebayo i'm very proud of this purchase and it wasn't that expensive i think it was only like 
under ten dollars thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed coming book shopping with me and also checking out some black owned bookstores in atlanta if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i hope that you decide to subscribe and stick around thank you again for watching and bye thank you for watching and subscribe to her channel and bye